You're listening to an audio article by the Common Constitution. Today's article is entitled, Trump May Becoming the President We Conservatives Wanted. Despite his constant tweeting, his brash and loud exterior, is President Trump slowly becoming the president we wanted all along? He just may be. Sure, he may never be the strict constructionist constitutionalist that I have been pining for over oh, these many years. I don't reckon another Calvin Coolidge will be rising to prominence anytime soon, if ever again. But the decisions Trump makes without having to include Congress have been impressive thus far. His campaign platform was replete with conservative ideas. Tax cuts were his idea. He chose Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch. Deportations of illegals was his idea, as was the construction of an actual border wall, not just some lame picket fence or a hollow promise. And unlike Congress, he does actually want to repeal Obamacare. Renegotiation of trade deals to be more beneficial to America is his idea. Backing out of the Paris climate hoax was all him. Dealing more harshly with Iran and North Korea, him. Vetting of refugees, etc. Now the Supreme Court has upheld his travel ban. Again, all him. The list grows larger seemingly every day. And they are all good ideas that get lost in the tone and tenor of his presentation. That and the constant yapping of the purse dogs in the press. And now he has just done something that should impress even the hardest core Federalist. President Teddy Roosevelt is currently ranked fourth on the list of our nation's top president, eclipsed only by Franklin Roosevelt, George Washington, and numero uno Abe Lincoln. What a ridiculous list, allowing two of the top four to be big government progressives. One of Rough Rider Teddy's greatest achievements is said to be his founding of America's national parks. What a wonderful thing it was, and is, to preserve our country's pristine wilderness by unconstitutionally appropriating state lands and folding billions of acres into the hands of the federal government. Over the many decades, like all government programs, the national park system just continued to grow, more and more, it became a political tool of the left to illegally commandeer huge swaths of real estate for the sole purpose of denying states and private industry the use of that land. No mining can occur on these acquired federal lands without express permission from the National Politburo, which will never come. No logging, no drilling, no hunting, no nothing. But to Trump's credit, he has begun the process of reversing the peculation of state lands by the thieves in the federal government and returning it to its rightful owners. Quote, On Monday afternoon, President Trump signed two presidential proclamations that will reduce the boundaries of Bears Ears and Grand Staircase Escalante, two national monuments located in Utah. Never before has a president reduced a national monument designation made by a predecessor by such large margins, unquote, writes the Atlantic. Now, don't you just love that they changed the name from National Park to National Monument to increase the majesty? Nice wordplay. Quote, I've come to Utah to take a very historic action to reverse federal overreach and restore the rights of this land to your citizens, unquote. President Trump told a crowd at Utah State Capitol in Salt Lake City, Historic indeed. President Trump, you are indeed a friend to the republic. A dilly dilly. Trump's proposal will shrink the 1.32 billion acre Bears Ears Monument designated by President Barack Obama in 2016 by about 85%. Grand Staircase Escalante which was designated by Bill Clinton in 1996, would be reduced by about 50%. In fact, this has been in the works for several months as Trump last spring ordered the Department of Interior to review 27 of these monuments. Secretary Ryan Zinke has since suggested starting with 10. Now, I haven't loved everything Trump has done, and I'm still not a fan of his dearth of humility, but hey, we can't have everything. At this point, if he can continue his attempts at downsizing government, returning our money and land back to us, 
he can tweet and bloviate to his heart's content. Thank you for listening. Thank you.